from the toolbar select the text tool and here write the text s r c and from here change the font to ethnocentric now drag the text and make the size little bigger go to object and break the text after breaking the text select the middle text and change the color Now using left arrow key take it towards left hand side. Now take pen tool and by following the outer curve of R draw the curve. And match up with the inner curve of the C. We can control the curve direction using ALT key. Now following the outer curve of the C, draw the curve. And control the curve direction using ALT key. And match up with the inner curve of the R. and close the shape now fill this with color and let's remove the outline using shape tool we can fix the curve if it is not smooth now select them all take fill tool and make shape here select this one to right click and take this one to the front now take fill tool and make shape delete this down object now convert to curve and from here give some outline values so that we can make a gap let's increase little more we need more bigger gap in between and now now it is fine go to object and convert to outline now select this one and take this one to the front select this take fill tool and make a shape now delete the outline of s and the down object now select this and here also we need to make gaps so we are giving outline value here and convert to outlines take this one to the front now select this take fill color tool change the color and make a shape now delete the outline delete the down object now by using pen tool here draw a curve and we'll create a small gap here and close the shape fill this with color and let's remove the outline by taking shape tool we can 
reshape this one because the curve is not uh, in a proper way. So if you find any error after making any shape, you can use shape tool. Now select this one, take fill color tool and make a shape here. Now delete this one and the down object. Now select them using shift key and unite them. From here you can weld it and make a single shape. Now from here take this gradient color and double click here. Choose your own color. And for the second point choose another color. So for gradient color at least require two color to mix up. Now select this one, this one and this one using shift key and take color tool, take gradient and again mix up with colors. So here choose different color for the first color point. And now you can drag the gradient like this and fix the color angle. And select it. You can refix the gradient color if you want. This one, let's take little light color. Now it's perfect. Our logo is ready now. Let's, let's save it in PNG 20, uh, 24 transparent format. Export it and make sure transparency is marked and OK. Now open your Photoshop software. In Photoshop, open your logo and the mockup file. So if you don't know what is mockup, then uh, you can check out video in on the channel. Now double click at the top layer of the mockup and drag our transparent logo over the new tab of the mockup and leave at the center. You can drag it using Alt key and make the size bigger and place at the center. Mark it and mark the mockup background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied once your mockup will apply here you can see the result so hope you understand all the steps i did you can subscribe graphic island for more updates thank you